Hi, my name is Lance Porter. In this video I want to teach you how to paint what I think is the most important part of any portrait, and that is the eye. And there are certain tricks to painting an eye that have been developed by portrait artists over many, many centuries. Some of the tricks I'm about to show you actually were de developed before the time of Rembrandt. So I'm going to show you some things on a completed portrait, and then we're going to cut to a close-up. I'm actually going to paint an eye for you step by step to show you what I think is the most efficient way to do it. When you look at an eye, the most important uh, feature in the eye is the highlight, which is that glob of white paint right there. It's most important because it's the highlight that makes an eye look alive. Now the second most important part of an eye is something that artists again discovered before the time of Rembrandt that you can make an eye look more lifelike if you realize that the cornea, which is the part that covers the iris, or the green part, and the pupil, which is the black center of the eye, is transparent. So by painting the next lightest, or you might call it a subordinate highlight, down diagonally opposite from the highlight, making that the second lightest part of the eye, it gives the illusion that the highlight is refracting through the cornea to the other side of the eye. And again, that helps make the eye look alive. Now, a couple other things you do is try to make the eye look round. Of course, the eyeball is round, and the cornea is also dome-shaped. So to make the cornea look dome-shaped, dome you paint the darkest of your iris color around the outside of the iris what I call the rim or the rind of the iris, and then in closer toward the pupil, you use a lighter shade of that same color. Light colors advance toward the viewers, dark colors recede from the viewer. So by making it darker around the rim and lighter inside, you give the impression that the cornea is in fact dome shape, which of course it is. You do the same thing with the whites of the eye, which incidentally are by no means white. Uh, I paint my whites with a mixture of burnt umber and white. And what you want to do is start out with your darkest color of burnt umber and white, your darkest shade at the corner of the eye, and then you want to gradually lighten it as it gets in toward the cornea. And the same thing at the inside corner of the eye, darkest in the corner, lighter, lightest nearest the cornea. And this helps give the impression that the ball of the eye is, is round. So let's cut to a close-up and I'll show you how to paint this. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm using pure Viridian Green. I'm going to give this little girl green eyes. And using my smallest brush, I'm painting around the outside or the rim or the rind of the iris. That's the part of the iris I want to make darkest. Okay, that's the first step in painting an eye. Notice that I've used my pure Viridian Green, which is going to be the darkest shade of green I'm going to use, all around the outside of the cornea and all across the top. The reason for making it all across the top is because the upper eyelid of the eye shadows the top part of the eye. So you want to make your eye darker in this area under here where it would naturally be shadowed uh, by the upper eyelid. Now I've mixed my Viridian Green with some white to create a lighter shade. And so step two is to paint that lighter shade of Viridian Green all around the pupil of the eye. So that's step two finished. So now you see I still got my rind of dark Viridian Green around the outside of the iris. But on the inside of the iris and up against the pupil, I've got a lighter shade of green and green mixed with titanium white. So that's what I want because it gives me the effect that the 
cornea is rounded or domed, which of course it is. Okay, now for step three, I'm going to put my highlight right there. So I want to go diagonally across and I want to put my reflected highlight, the lightest part of my cornea, over here. Okay, so that's step three. Now, I've cleaned my brush with some mineral spirits and a paper towel. And now, I'm going to paint the pupil of the eye black using lamp black oil paint. So that's how it looks after I finished painting the pupil, which was the fourth step in this process. And the next step is to add the most important feature of the eye, which is the highlight. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just got a big glob of white paint, pure white paint, on the end of my brush. And I am just going to glob it on, and I'm going to try to get it half of it on the pupil and half of it on the iris. Something like that. That will do. And that's the thing that brings that part of the eye to life. That is absolutely the key element of painting an eye, is globbing on that um, little bit of paint to create the highlight. You can do it with a paint knife or you can do it as I just showed you with a brush. Now the next step is to paint the whites of the eyes, which are by no means white. I paint the whites of the eye with a combination of burnt umber and titanium white. But in the corner of the eye here, I'm starting with pure burnt umber. And I'm going to try to create a little shape, a little bit of a semicircle here, to kind of indicate where that little triangle of flesh in the corner of the eye is, and then where the white would be over here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of pure burnt umber in the far corner of the eye as well. Not as much, but some. Then I'm going to mix my burnt umber with a little bit of white to create a warm grayish brown. And then I'm going to start moving on in toward the iris of the eye. Notice this is by no means white. And I make it darkest at the edges and the corners. And I don't mind if I blend in a little bit. I want to blend in that pure burnt umber that I put in the far corner there. So I'm kind of blending that out a little bit to get my, my darkest. And notice I'm kind of doing it in concentric circles because, well, that's the way the eye would go. So there you go. That's what an eye looks like fully painted. First step, paint the rind. Second step, paint the inner rim lighter. Third step, paint the reflected highlight. Fourth step, paint the pupil. Fifth step, glob on the highlight. And sixth step, paint the whites of the eyes in such a way that it makes the eyeball look round. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you get a chance to check me out online. My web address is learntopaintportraits.com. I also have a few other videos on YouTube, all having to do with how to paint a portrait 
in oil paint on canvas, and I hope you'll check them out. Thanks for watching.